Hello! Perhaps you have been contemplating buying this. It's a wireless PC USB gaming receiver for Xbox 360. Microsoft makes one, but it's more expensive. And personally, I want to save money. I mean, I don't know about you. But this one is third party, and it comes with a weird CD. Do they show it? No. Um, it comes with a CD that installs drivers. But, as you can see, I'm on Windows 10, and that CD doesn't work. Um, so, this is just a short video to show you guys how to install the drivers upon purchasing this product. So, first off, uh, you want to go into your device manager. So, we can do that now. Oops. Uh, I just use Cortana. Not uh, device manager. There it is. If you don't have Cortana, if you're on... A previous version of Windows like Windows 7 or 8 you can always right click on this PC or my computer and you can right click on it and click properties and then click device manager right here and that'll bring you to the same spot but I just think it's easier with Cortana personally uh, okay so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in now and What's going to happen is, since it's a third-party device, it doesn't know what driver to install. And that's what I'm about to show you how to do. If I can get it in the USB port. There we go. So as you can see, device manager is updated. And now there's an unknown device right here. That's what we just plugged in. So how to install the driver. It's already on the Windows computer. We don't need to download anything, which is good. What you want to do is right-click it. And you can actually click update driver software right here, but we're going to go to properties. It'll tell us a little bit of the error. It says drivers aren't installed. There are no compatible drivers, which is a lie. There are driver details. That'll be filled out once we actually put it on there. Just to make sure that it's yours, I like to plug it in and unplug it to see what changes in the device manager. But if you already have it plugged in and you don't want to bother with it, it's USB slash vid and some code. It might be different for you, I don't know. But we're gonna click update driver and we're gonna click browse my computer for driver software. It, if it searches automatically, it won't find anything. And we're going to also, we're then gonna click let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And then down towards the bottom, there's Xbox 360 peripherals. That's what we wanna use. So when you click next, it'll show you all of the Xbox drivers that Microsoft makes. And this is a wireless receiver. So down towards the bottom, there are three wireless receiver drivers. I recommend the 2015 release. It shows you the release date at the end. I know 2009 works for Windows 7 and probably Windows 8, but just to be the most updated, it's probably the best to use 2015. If it doesn't work, you can try 2009 and even 2007 I'm gonna use 2015 though and it gives you uh, a warning because it doesn't know if it's gonna work or not but it will uh, there you go it just updated and we can go ahead and hit close it says the device is working properly which is good in the in the properties menu you can look at the driver details etc now I have my Xbox controller, and we're going to power it on. Uh, if you haven't already connected it, you click the button on the top of the receiver to start that sync, and then you turn on your Xbox controller and hit the sync button, just like how you sync it with a regular Xbox. I already have, and I just turned it on, and the nice thing is it'll actually play that little bump -ba -da -ba when your Xbox controller joins, and if I pull the battery pack out, and there you go. So let's see how it works. All right, we're in Halo 2. And as you can see, I have full controller support. Uh, yes, it is running. It's a Windows Vista game, actually. Uh, I got it to run on my Windows 10 with a couple of tricks. Pretty cool. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm playing this all on an Xbox controller. All the joysticks work. All of the triggers and the buttons work. Oh no. Do I have dead batteries? Ah, there we go. Perfect example of how seamless 
the controller runs with Windows. So thank you for watching uh, how to connect your Xbox controller to Windows to a Windows PC with that little adapter from Amazon. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.